guys, it's Emily. So I have not posted in probably like a year or something like that. I know it's like so, so crazy. Had a lot of changes. I am back and I want to start doing more because I miss you guys and I miss being on the internet. So I am finally moved into a new place. So you can tell by the background, I do have this light still. Um, if you remember it from before. New update are these glasses. Uh, also new update I think is long hair, but this is fake. My like hair is grown out badly so I really need to get it done. So I already know but thank you if you want to tell me again. Alright so I'm going to be doing three reviews for you guys in this one video. I'm going to have a blog post linked down below as well as all of the links to purchase every single one of these items down below for you guys as well as the prices before you click on the link. I'm going to be finding you the best lowest price for these products if I can. First product I want to talk about is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream for Normal Combo Skin. This, as you can see, is pretty much almost gone. Um, I did not use it today because I just wanted to have a really natural look, as you, I hope you can tell anyway. This is a really good moisturizer. I really, really recommend it if you guys are new to getting into skincare or if you're a teen or preteen. Um, this is a great moisturizer. They also have one for dry combo skin as well and it's pink. I've never used that one before um, but this one smells a kind of like cucumber and aloe. It's really refreshing, really hydrates your skin. The only thing it doesn't do which it doesn't even claim to do is you know um, helps smooth your texture to your skin and help reduce the tone um, like your redness tone. So uh, that's the only thing it doesn't do if you're looking for that in a moisturizer. I used to use one like that and I loved it. I'm going to be going back to that moisturizer though um, but this is my second container of this. It contains 1.7 ounces. This retails for about $6.97 at Walmart is where I purchased this but I do really like this. It takes just a little bit of product. I like to mix it in with or with foundations that are a little thicker because I don't like to use thick foundations because sometimes I don't even know I have dry patches and then a dry patch just happens to appear on my face with thicker foundations so I have to mix this in with it and I really like um, like it for that and it's um it doesn't change it doesn't make it any lighter or anything because it's pretty much transparent there is no tone to it you can't see it it absorbs nicely into your skin really fast smells nice it's nice and cooling so it really helps you kind of wake up in the morning. The second one I want to talk about is my MAC Wonder Woman eyeliner. This is the penultimate so it's part of the permanent line by MAC. All it is is a giant like marker for your eyelids um, just to help you line your eyes up. This retails for $19 but I really do recommend it. Can you hear that absurd noise? There is a UPS guy coming to my house right now. This is a really great product if you are kind of sucky at wing liner because I am. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like if I do it with liquid, this side will be that perfect flick and then this side will just be a freaking line out to my gosh darn eyebrow. Anyways, I used it today. I use it pretty much every single day, but it's drying out for me. But this has lasted me for years. And I've used it pretty much every single day. Yeah. This one for me, I guess I'll just show you again on this hand, I don't really care, is kind of drying out, but then like sometimes, see, look at that, sometimes you just don't even know. And I do really recommend it because it's really foolproof, like you can't mess up. And the very last product I want to talk to you guys about is a concealer I've been using for the past six months. The reason it's lasted me six months is because I did not use it all the time for under eyes and doing that huge highlighting thing, just because after a while, I did it for probably a month, and then after a while I was kind of like... I don't want to do this anymore. This is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in 02 Light Pale. This is what the packaging looks like. You get 0.21 fluid ounces, which is a good amount for a concealer. And I believe this retailed for like eight to nine dollars, somewhere in that range. I don't know. I purchased mine at Target. Um, this is a little bit too dark for me. It does have a yellowy undertone though. I'm really pale, so you know. I would probably need the 01. I think there's probably like eight, six to eight different colors for this. But I do like to use this for blemishes or anything like that, especially under the eyes. I like the consistency. It it creases a little bit, which kind of sucks, um, but I do recommend it. Um, just definitely set it with a powder under the eyes so it doesn't crease. But I do like this concealer. It's lasted me for six months again because I didn't use it all the time underneath there, but if I were to do that every day, all the time, and wore makeup 
every day of the month. It would probably last me three to four months, I would say, for this. Um, that's it for my three reviews. Look below for the blog post where you can buy these items and all that fun stuff down below. If you have any comments for me, leave them down below if you've missed me or if you have any videos or requests that you want me to do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!